Okay, so I wanted to uh, kind of redeem myself from the very, very, very first video I did. Um, it was horrible showing you how to do the cobra, cobra weave. Uh, the worst video I've done. So I'm just going to do a basic cobra weave and uh, make this a lot better than the last one. Okay, so what I have here is I, I want to make a bracelet approximately 8 inches. Um, so I've got eight feet of paracord. For the cobra weave, you use an inch, um, or use a foot for every inch of finished. So, like, let's say, um, well, let me find one here. All right, let's say we wanted to make this, and this finished product here is nine inches. So, what you would do is you would use nine feet of paracord. Real easy. Um, so the first thing I want to do is go down through the top of the buckle and basically that's both ends of the paracord, both ends of the 8 feet. Pull this all the way through to where it has a loop right here at the end. Alright, open that loop up, reach through the loop like that and grab the two pieces and pull it through the loop. And what that's going to do is it's going to pull it so it can't go anywhere right on the end of that that buckle there alright now take your paracord and basically just run all of it through your fingers until you're at the end and then when you do that you're going to pull this way so that your your buckle's that way now you're just going to flip this over and the two paracords are going to go through the bottom and up through the top you should get a loop right there alright now if they're not twisted you're good, but if they're twisted all you gotta do is you know rotate right here. Open this up and this is where you would measure. So to measure this what you would be doing is you would be measuring from the end of here to the end right here. I don't know if you can see that, but I think you can. And I think that's about eight inches, so we'll just go with that. Um, I'm going to make it a little shorter. Okay, so now just flip your buckle over so that you have the top of the buckle facing up. You're going to pull your right paracord to the right and your left to the left and you have two middles on the back side. Um, to do the cobra weave, you're basically going to make a loop like this on the right side. It's going to alternate right, left, right, left, all the way down the whole bracelet. Make a loop. Okay, and then you're going to take your left side, pass it over the right side, like that. And then you're going to take the left side and pass it behind the two and up through that loop that was on the right and cinch this nice and tight. Okay, so we did the right side on the top last time, so this time we're going to do the left side on the top. So the left goes over the two middle, the right one goes over that one, around the back, up and through that hole. Real basic. This one you can do in about five to ten minutes if you're, if you're quick. Same thing. Oh, almost took out my camera there. So right over the two middle, the left over that one, around the back and through the loop. Pull that nice and tight. Now you're going to do the left side. Right, left, right, left, all the way down. And about this point is when you start to see your, um, your pattern take shape usually takes about four different passes before the pattern really starts to emerge and that's on any of the bracelets you do. Now if you ever get to a spot where you're unsure of what side needs to go over top, look for the latest loop. This loop right here will tell you where your next move's got to be. So if this one is your the last one you did, that means that this side goes over top. And if you need to look at it, pretty basic. Both both sides of the paracord are doing the same thing, they're just crossing each other. I've seen other people um, kind of tie this a different way. Um, 
I believe what they do is they reach through like this. Makes it a little quicker, I suppose. And I saw another guy do it a different way too, which looked a little bit faster even, but I don't, I don't really remember how he did it. Or she. Yeah, that first video I did, uh, I was using old old uh, editing software, really old, a couple, I don't know, five, six years old. And not only that, but I put music on it, you couldn't hear my voice toward the end of it. And I used YouTube's uh, caption system, which isn't the greatest either. I think I kind of even messed that up at the beginning, if I remember right. One thing these are good for too, these these survival bracelets, not only are they good for survival if you ever need it, um, but for instance sports teams like, um, I don't know if I've got any handy here, but I've got some, yeah I've got some over here I can show you real quick. Um, for instance, I don't know, the uh, Denver Broncos, there's one there. Um, I don't know, we've got all kinds of them over here. Uh, let's see. You know what, it's kind of funny, out of all these I have over here, uh, maybe the Miami Heat. I made a lot of them, I've got probably 20, 20 bracelets sitting here, but uh, none of them that really represent any sports teams. Oh, one of my favorites right here, that's the uh, Michigan Wolverines, that's where I'm from. It used to be my team. And then of course their, uh, their biggest rival, I guess, this would be the uh, Michigan State Spartans. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry about that. I get off on tangents sometimes. When you get down to the bottom of the bracelet right here, this is when it becomes a little harder. And what I like to do, just so I can get a, a couple extras in there, is hold on to the buckle right here. And kind of push up just a little and that'll open up this little gap here and then you can get one or two more in there and then kind of pull everything back down to fill that in. I think I have my first bracelet I did on here uh, for my video. Oh, which one was it? I can't even remember. I think it was a green one. Yeah, I don't know where my first one went. Yeah, that was a horrible video. I think even in the description, if I put it, if I, I think I put in there, if you get a laugh out of it, I did my job. It was definitely uh, not, not best. All right, so I'm at the end now. And this part here, all you need to use are a pair of scissors and a lighter. Um, this is how you're gonna finish it. So you wanna, basically right where you end it, you're just gonna cut the paracord off. And then you're just going to use the small part of the flame, or I mean the, the uh, lowest part of the flame, just so you can kind of liquefy that, that paracord there without turning it black. It's, it's kind of hard to get the use, used to doing that, but it can be done. It just takes a little more patience. And then you just kind of roll this over it. it pushes all that uh, liquefied nylon into all those creases and kind of locks everything right in. Same thing on this side, and then that'll be a completed bracelet. I, I really hope and I think that this this video is better than the, the very first one. I hope I've redeemed myself. Let me know. Take a look at that first one if you don't believe me. It's pretty awful. I'm going to leave it up though because I, I think it's got a little comedic value to it. <laughs> Alright, so there's the uh, the finished bracelet. Got the whistle buckle on there. That's a little small one, that's for a little kid, I suppose. That's not quite 80 inches. 
but you get the idea. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe. I've got a new video almost every day. Try to at least. Thanks again.